I'm your host, Leo D. Cook, and welcome to Masterpieces of Children's Literature in Less Than a Minute. You may be wondering what I'm doing. This is a washboard, which is what people used to use back in the day to wash their clothing. This would be considered a typical chore young people would do on the farm. Speaking of farms, today's book is Rebecca of Sunnybook Farm, written by Kate Douglas Wiggins. I gotta be careful, because I don't want to get suds all over it. This story opens up with Rebecca's journey from her family's farm to Riverboro, Maine. Rebecca is a positive and charming gal who always sees the bright side of things. Her family is very poor, so she's sent off to live with her two aunts, Miranda and Jane Sawyer. Rebecca's Aunt Jane is very kind and nice. The other, Aunt Miranda, is cruel to Rebecca and feels her niece is worthless, just like her old man. This is what I think Aunt Miranda. So Aunt Jane teaches Rebecca how to cook, manage a household, and even sew. But no matter what she does, it just cheeses off Aunt Miranda. Sounds like a bad situation. <clears throat> On the other hand, Rebecca's youthful energy brightens up Aunt Jane. Now, Rebecca makes all kinds of friends and helps out a poor family. Later on, she goes to school and becomes a good student and writer. Rebecca aspires to be a teacher, but something happens to her mama, so she's got to go back home and help her. I skipped over a bunch of great stuff, so if you want to know what happens to Rebecca of Sunny Book Farm by Kate Douglas Wiggins, I suggest you read it yourself. You'll be glad you did. Oops. Soapy fingers. I'm Leo D. Cook, and I'll see you next time on Masterpieces of Children's Literature in less than a minute.